Hi, this is Carl again. This fall and the times before that, I got a lot of emails asking about calibration on the Mac and uh, what I do in order to sort of make the pictures look good. And uh, one thing that is really important and that uh, sometimes is forgotten is the calibration of your screen. So I will now show you how to calibrate it visually using the tool that is built into every Mac. And uh, I've seen some people do this calibration and sort of fail. And uh, maybe this will help you somewhat. So first of all, you would go down to the, into the system preferences. And in here, you find an icon that says display. And in here, you find a color button. And here you can see that I have lots of different uh, calibrations already. I will start with a fail one so that you see how bad it looks. Now, the thing is that because I, cal I mean, I'm showing you out of a calendar. Hey, <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, now the phone is off. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, so the, the, the screen uh, recording utility that I have uh, can't really show you what I see. Uh, so I will uh, record here with my iPhone uh, so that you will see more clear what's happening. Uh, you can see here, you can see, oh, oh, it works, it works. Good, good, good. It's just a picture to show. Okay, so we go into calibrate. That's the next step. Boom. And I will move it now so it's inside the picture. Let's see if I can make it more straight. Yeah, it's at least slightly better. Mm. Press that, it's sharp. Okay, so uh, I would uh, press continue. And here you see the Apple logo. And in order, this is a quick tip here. Because I'm not using glasses, so I can actually blur my eyesight some. And that's a really good thing to do. If you have some old glasses at home that belongs to somebody else, put them on so that your sight will be blurry. That way it's much easier to sort of try to make the Apple logo disappear. Because that's the, the game here. Try to make the Apple logo disappear to have the same gamma, the same light properties and color properties as the background. And this background looks like lines like this. I mean, it is. But the more blurred it is, the more it becomes a uni unity. Okay. So I will see here what you guys see. I will also make the color perfect by moving this one around. And here it is. It's a little bit tricky, but it's so important because this is what uh, what sort of is the calibration. And then we we'll press the next one. And same thing here. Upload should be slightly brighter, there we go, and the color should be... and after a while you get really really used to this and things will get much smoother yeah, it will take some time I'm, I'm pretty sure that this one will get darker now I'll try to see what you see actually, even if it's not the perfect way to do it for me. And here next. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, now it's a little bit too dark for you guys. Anyways, I will continue here, yeah, so finish it. But this is what you need to do. You need to sort of mix between these two so that you finally end up with a sort of perfect combination. Now I have uh, been big bright light in my face here so everything becomes a lot harder here is also like 1.8 was the gamma that uh, was used before with the old Max for today and today we use 2.2 which is also the standard in the, the world of PCs everything will become more dense when you use that so use 2.2 that's the, what you should you do alright so now we call this non fail 2 done so now your screen is calibrated. We can see what it looks like, what it did look like before. Boom, and now it's like this. You can't really see how how bad it was looking before, but it's a huge difference. 
All right, so over and out from me. I want to show, I want to show the graphy. I want to show, I want to show the graphy. I want to show, I want to show. Ritefunk.com